Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines. I'm T-Bone. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We've got a craftsman came in. The customer says, run about six or so passes across his yard and the machine dies. Let's it sit, it will start back up. Some folks will say, cutting off hot, it could be a bad coil. Could be, not in this case. You gotta stick around and I'm gonna show you what I found wrong with it. Okay, folks, it doesn't matter if you're working on a LT-1000 Craftsman like we are today. If you're working on this little Troy built or any, any of the other machines, uh, they all have the same issue that we see all the time. First thing you want to do, like I always harp on and I always say, careful visual inspection. Well, the first thing I look for... I go right here. Look what you see down inside of that fuel tank. See all that mess down in there? That used to be inside of this gas cap. Now, what we're going to need to do to fix this, I'm 99.999786542% that that is our problem and what's happening is that stuff is getting over here and stopping and not letting fuel flow. And then, well, looky here. Do you know what that is? They make them in red and white. And you know what that is? That's junk. Throw it in the trash. The only thing in there is a little piece of screen that's not worth two cents. All I use right here, 10352 Rotary. It's a paper fuel filter. And this is what I put on everything. I don't care if it's gravity feed or a fuel pump. Use this filter. And you it'll eliminate a lot of problems in these carburetors. The other thing we're going to look at is the fuel shutoff solenoid. Those have a tendency to, if they have the rubber tip on them, what will happen, that rubber tip, over time as it ages, it'll get loose on the solenoid and when it gets hot, it'll suck it up inside the main jet and cut your fuel off. Then you cut the machine, or the machine cuts off on you, you cut the key off, solenoid goes back up and it kind of reseats back on there till it warms up again. So we're going to also pull that off and check that too. So very simple on this tank in particular. Two little bolts, three eighths on this one in particular. You'll figure out what size yours is. Now our tank is loose. Now luckily this one already has a shutoff valve already installed. If yours doesn't, pick one up. And the rotary part number on this is a 5841. Uh, they're very inexpensive. But what I'm going to do is shut the fuel off here. If you don't have one or a shutoff valve you can put on there, you can use one of these clamp tools, needle nose vice grips, whatever. Find something. And what we're going to do, I'm going to disconnect. We know we're going to replace this fuel filter. We know we're going to check all of these fuel lines and make sure there's no trash. If there's any question, replace them. Okay? So we're going to pop this loose right here. And then we can get this fuel tank off. Maybe. Boy, that is on there. I don't even think you needed a clamp. That thing is on there. I just ruined the fuel line. Can you guys see that? Part of it's still on the shutoff valve right there. Let's see if we have any fuel flow. I'm sure we do. Yep, it's peeing good. Okay. Now all we got to do is lift this off and we're going to take and dump this fuel. I'm going to try to save this fuel because I know it is fresh gas. All right, so what we're going to do, I just nibbed that off with my cutters. The whole inside of that thing is rotten, so it is definitely getting new fuel lines. Also, what I'm going to do is stick this in my gas can. It'll go through that little screen that's not worth two cents. And just going to let the gas drain right into our can. See how slow that's? Look at there. I think we found our problem, y'all. See, it's barely trickling. That thing ought to be running out of there. So it could be this screen is stopped up with all these pieces from out of this fuel tank. 
Let me get this tank drained and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is still just, I got it. See there, it's already quit right here. Watch, I'm gonna loosen this gas cap. Look at there. The vent is stopped up in the cap also. We're gonna put all of it on there. No sense doing it halfway. So we got all the gas out and dumped all the nasty stuff out of there and all nice and clean inside, just stained and all you see is the dirt. So let's see if we can get some new fuel lines on this thing. But first, Mrs. T just brought me a tuna sandwich for lunch. I'll be back. Thanks, baby. fuel tank screwed back down and went ahead and put that last piece of fuel line on uh and yes i know somebody has probably already said something yes i could have just replaced the gas cap or cleaned that hole out and the machine would have ran at some point that stuff in that fuel tank was going to go over there stop this line up and i'll end up with a comeback and i'm just not taking that kind of chance Hey, while you guys are looking around on the interwebs and screens and whatever, y'all go check out my old buddy, the Rusty Rooster. He got some pretty cool stuff, too. Okay, so I told you we were going to talk about this solenoid. I don't know if this has got the rubber tip on it or not. Some of these that are real close to the bowl. I just took an old cheesy wrench and I ground it and made it really skinny. So it'll fit up under here. We're gonna pull it off anyway, cause I wanna see if there's any trash or anything in this carburetor. And we wanna look at the solenoid. And that's all you gotta do. This one actually has the metal tip and appears to be fine. So, so let me go, I'm gonna see if I've got one. I can show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, here is a new one and you can see the difference okay and what i was talking about this rubber tip as they get old and you can see and this is a brand new solenoid and that's just loose and that'll pop what it'll do is it'll swell and it'll suck it up into that main jet and then when you shut the machine off you know with it running this is down right so when you shut the machine off this goes up and it'll actually reseat itself back in that rubber once they're wore out Okay, let's see if this bowl will come off easy. Uh, gonna need a new gasket. Well, it's actually fairly clean in there. Not too bad. So let me go see. Hopefully I got another gasket for this thing. We'll get this pop back on. Okay, let's pour some gas back in here. and See if we got any leaks or anything. Y'all ever seen that channel, Outdoor Boys? Those are pretty cool videos, too. All right, so y'all always be sure, check that oil, smell that dipstick, and make sure it's not over full. And if it is, if it smells like gas, you know you got a carburetor issue. But check that oil. Give me a second. I'm going to clean these tools up, push them outside, and let's see if she's going to run. Thanks for watching. We appreciate every one of you. We hope y'all learned something from this video and, and help you get your mower fixed. So we'll see you guys next time. Let's see if it ruins.